Okay, today is April 27th. Knock, knock, knock. Come in. Hi, my name is Katie. I'm going to be your nurse today. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. So at this point, I've already assessed the room for any safety precautions. I'm doing my hand hygiene and I've put a pair of gloves on. Can I go ahead and read your wristband? Sure. What's your name? Logan Kelly. And date of birth? February 1st, 94. Okay. Do you know where you are right now? Uh, Seattle, Grace, Mercy West. And who's the president? Joe Biden. AAO times three. Okay, Mr. Kelly, I'm going to go ahead and do a physical examination on you from head to toe. Is that okay? Yeah. Are you able to sit on the edge of the bed for me? Sure. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and start with your head. We're checking for any scars or lesions. Okay. I'm not seeing any scars or lesions. Okay. Now I'm going to start to assess cranial nerves. We're going to start with cranial nerve number one to ensure that it's intact. Okay, Logan, I'm gonna go ahead and check your nose, okay? No deviated septum, no signs of polyps or infection. Now we're gonna go ahead and do a smell test. So I'm gonna have you close your eyes and cover one nostril. I'm gonna give you something to smell and you tell me what it is, okay? Okay. Okay, and what do you smell? Blueberry. Okay, same thing with the other side. And what do you smell? Vanilla. Okay, great. Cranial nerve number one, olfactory is intact. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and check your eyes. So I'm going to have you focus on me. Sclera is white. Conjunctiva is pink and moist. Pupil size is two millimeters. Do you wear any glasses or contacts? No. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and check your accommodation, okay? Can you read my badge? Katie Kelly. And the sign on the wall? Exit. Okay, great. Now I'm going to have you focus on me and I will flash my pen light in your eyes. Okay. Pupil reflex is brisk. Cranial nerve optic is intact. Okay. Your pupils are equal, round, reactive to light and accommodation. So now I'm going to go ahead and check your conversions, okay? So go ahead and follow my pen light. Okay. Follow it again. Okay. Okay. Cranial nerve number three, ocular motor. Cranial nerve number four, trochlear. And number six, abducens is intact. Okay, Logan, now I'm going to go ahead and check your face, okay? okay? Do you have any pain here? No. Under your eyes? No. Okay, go ahead and swallow for me. Cranial nerve number five, trigeminal, is intact. Go ahead and smile for me. Puff your cheeks. Raise your eyebrows and close your eyes. Close them tightly. Okay. Cranial nerve number seven, facial is intact. Do you have any hearing problems? No. Do you wear any hearing aids? No. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and check your ears, okay? Okay. So I'm gonna start by pulling his ears up and back, checking for any signs of infection or drainage. Up and back. Okay, great. Now we're going to do a whisper test. So I'm going to have you cover your left ear and I'm going to whisper something behind your right ear and you're going to tell me what I say, okay? Okay. Blueberries. Okay, same thing with the other side. School bus. Okay, great. Cranial nerve number eight, acoustic is intact. Okay, Logan, now I'm going to go ahead and check cranial nerves number nine, 10, and 12. Go ahead and open your mouth for me. Say ah, ah, swallow, and then go ahead and cough. <clears throat> okay. Cranial nerve number five, nine, glossopharyngeal, and number 10, vagus is intact. Stick your tongue out for me, move it to the right, to the left, put it against the inside of your cheek, push on the right, and to the left. Okay, great. Cranial nerve number 12, hypoglossal is intact. So go ahead and shrug your shoulders for me. Push up against my hands. Okay. 
Cranial nerve number 11, spinal accessories intact. Okay, Mr. Kelly, now I'm gonna have you follow and do what I do, okay? Put your head down, flexion, all the way up, extension, all the way to the ceiling, hyperextension. Now I'm gonna have you look to the right, right flexion, left, left flexion, further right to the wall, right rotation, and to the left wall left rotation and go ahead and turn your head all around for me circum now i'm going to have you lay back down and turn your head to the right okay i'm going to use the bell of my stethoscope to listen for any brooding And there's no brooding. Okay, Logan. Now I'm going to have you continue to lay on your back. I'm going to feel your trachea. Swallow. And we don't feel any enlargement of the thyroid gland. Now I'm going to go ahead and listen to your lungs. Are you able to take your shirt off for me? And come sit at the edge of the bed. I'm going to tell you when, and I'm going to have you take a deep breath for me. Okay. We're going to start over your trachea. Take a deep breath. And let it go. For bronchial sounds. Now we're going to start over the clavicle. Take a deep breath in. For vestibular sounds. And out. Same thing on the other side. And out. Now I'm going to listen for bronchial vestibular sounds starting at the second intercostal space. Deep breath in and out. Second intercostal space, deep breath in and out. Fourth intercostal space, deep breath in and out, breath in, out, sixth intercostal space, deep breath in, and out, in, out, mid auxiliary line, and out, auxiliary line in and out okay and no adventitious sounds were heard okay Logan now I'm gonna have you stand up we're gonna turn you around we're gonna do breath sounds on the back okay starting above the clavicle for vesicular sounds vestibular sounds deep breath in and out. Okay. In and out. Second intercostal space alongside the scapula. Deep breath in and out. In. Out. Fourth intercostal space. Again. Sixth intercostal space. Okay, great. An auxiliary line. Again. Now we're going to listen to heart sounds. First, I'm going to check his AP diameter, which is less than half of the width of his chest. Okay, now I'm going to start listening to your heart sounds, okay? We're going to start at the aorta, which is the second intercostal space right of the sternal border. 
moving over to pulmonic, second intercostal space, left of the sternal border. S2 is louder for both. We're gonna move down to herbs point, fourth intercostal, third intercostal space, where S1 and S2 are equal. Tricuspid, fourth intercostal space, S1 is louder. And moving down to mitral, which is the fifth intercostal space, left of the sternal border. This is the point of maximal impulse, which is the middle clavicular line. Here we would listen to the heartbeat for one full minute for apical pulse. After one full minute, we're at 65 beats per minute. So now I'm gonna inspect your abdomen. So you can go ahead and lay back down. And when I'm checking out his abdomen, we're gonna do look, listen, and feel. So inspection, auscultation, and then palpitation. So I'm first checking for any scars or lesions, which I don't see. And now I'm going to start by listening to his abdominal aorta between his xiphoid process and the umbilicus about halfway through. I'm going to use the bell of my stethoscope to listen for any bounding pulses. So xiphoid process, umbilicus, halfway through. And there's no bounding pulse. So now I'm going to start auscultation by listening to the right lower quadrant for one full minute. After one full minute, I would move up to the right upper quadrant, left upper quadrant for one full minute, and left lower quadrant for one full minute. At this point, I would ask my female patients about monthly breast exams and teach them if they didn't know how to do it. I would ask my male patients um, I would check their testicles for any drainage, infection, or inflammation. And I would also, also ask my patients about any urinary problems that they may be experiencing. Okay, now I'm going to inspect your upper extremities, okay? okay. I'm going to first inspect for any moles or edema. Okay, great. And now I'm going to have you do what I do, okay? So flex your arms for me, extend them, abduction, adduction. Now you're going to put your hands up against mine, squeeze my hands. Okay, great. Now I'm going to check for radio pulse and feel for one full minute. After one full minute, the radial pulse is 65 beats per minute. I'm gonna feel for brachial pulses on each side. And radial. Okay, great. So both brachial and radial are two plus equally palpable bilaterally. Okay, Logan, now I'm gonna do a touch test, okay? So I'm gonna have you close your eyes. I'm gonna touch you with my pen light and you're gonna tell me where I've touched you, okay? Left hand. Right shoulder. Left elbow. Okay, great. All right, now I'm gonna have you stand up. Walk in a straight line for me. And back. Okay, great. Now I'm going to check my patient's back, inspect for any moles, and I'm going to also check any bony prominences. So this is gonna be the shoulders, the back of his head, the back of his ears, and his sacrum. Okay? 
And I would also check the back of his ankles. Okay, you can go ahead and sit back down for me. At this point, I would also assess my patient's anus for any signs of drainage or bleeding. Okay, Mr. Kelly, before I leave, do you need anything? No, I'm okay. Okay, here's your call bell for you. Thank you. And the bed is all the way lowered into the lowest position. The side rails are up. Okay, Mr. Kelly, do you need anything before I go? No, I'm good, thank you. Okay, we'll see you soon, okay? See you soon, thank you. Now I would perform hand hygiene and exit the patient's room.